Greetings gamers, I am back, back from the hack. Boy, what a terrible way to finish out just a terrible year. Before we get into this, I wanted to ask you to take a minute and just check to see that you're still subscribed. If you unsubscribed because you saw something called the Ripple Foundation in your sub box or in your feed and said, I don't know what that is and hit unsubscribe, perfectly understandable, but if you would go ahead and check now, now that I have it back and make sure that you are resubscribed or that you are still subscribed, I'd really appreciate that. So let's get into what happened. On Saturday, I got a call from Jovenshire telling me that my page had been hacked. And sure enough, when I went to my YouTube page, uh, there was something called the Ripple Foundation there in its place. And they were live streaming CNN coverage about cryptocurrency. And they had a link in the description, which I believe they wanted you to use to donate cryptocurrency to them, which they promised then to give back uh, double whatever you donated or something like that. The link may have also installed malware. I don't know, I didn't click it. If you did, obviously run a virus scan. Anyway, the way they were able to get into my account is they fished the password to my Gmail account, which was connected to the YouTube account, and that had two-factor authentication on it, so it should have sent a message to my phone if someone was trying to log into somewhere else, but I believe they also fished the password to the backup account, and then that one did not have two-factor authentication on it, which, dumb mistake, I know, but that has been remedied, and I have now added a host of new other security stuff to my account, which I'm not going to talk about here because I'm still very paranoid and I don't want the security features I'm using to be public knowledge. So getting back to the timeline of the hack, on Saturday is when they took my page down, rebranded it, made it the Ripple Foundation, and started running their scam. Um, they did this on purpose on the weekend because they knew less people would be at the Google and YouTube offices. But I was able to reach Team YouTube on Twitter, and then I was put in touch with someone at Google as well, and we started getting the forms filled out that we needed uh, to get the channel back and to get the stream taken down. Then on Sunday, uh, the channel went down and the live stream was dead. Monday, I was actually able to speak to someone from Google who reviewed the forms I sent in and got the ball rolling on recovering everything. Tuesday, I got my Gmail account back. I was actually able to send emails again. And then today, Wednesday, my YouTube account was recovered. Thankfully, when I got the channel back, I saw that I still had all my videos. They had just been privated. I set them back to public. And yeah, that was a huge weight off my chest because I thought that I've been doing this channel for over seven years and I thought all those years of work were going to be instantly wiped out and all the videos deleted. The days I spent freaking out about this were terrible. I was just constantly refreshing my email, my Twitter. I couldn't really focus on anything. My family was gone, thankfully, so they didn't have to see me freak out. They were in Texas visiting some relatives. So I was just alone in the house and I was trying to distract myself during that downtime when there was nothing I could really do. I was just waiting on the next email or Twitter or update. And I was playing Cyberpunk 2077 and it's good. I like it. You know, Night City looks beautiful. The writing is good. The voice acting is good. I see the complaints about the AI and the glitches. Uh, you know, one specific complaint I have that really only applies to me is a game about netrunners who go around hacking everything. Not the best way to distract yourself from the fact that your YouTube channel has been hacked. In fact, at one point in the game, I even checked my email at my apartment and saw I had a message about my computer being hacked. And then I just threw the controller down and gave up on the game for the rest of the night. Anyway, despite the fact that it felt like forever from between when my channel got hacked and when I got the channel back, it actually happened really quickly. And I'm thankful to everyone at Google and YouTube for hopping on this so fast. Now, I tweeted about this a few times, and on one of the tweets, I saw a few responses about how Google or YouTube wasn't acting quickly enough on this. And I think the people who tweeted those messages didn't quite understand the severity of the hack. My whole Gmail had been changed. My backup had been changed. My phone number had been changed. So Google and YouTube had to take the time to verify that this person who's contacting them from a number or email that is now nowhere on my page is not actually another hacker. So they had to take the time, investigate, and make sure everything was correct. So the fact that they were able to get this huge mess sorted out in under three business days, I'm not counting the weekend again because everyone's out of the office, is they're borderline superheroes to me. And I wanna take a moment to thank everyone there at Google and YouTube, plus everyone who amplified the message by tweeting or retweeting, uh, the people who helped put me in touch with the right people to actually get the ball rolling on getting my channel back, and everyone else who just kinda of checked in to offer kind words support, see if there was anything they could do. Thank you all, I appreciate you all so much. So that about wraps it up. I'm down about 10K subs after this whole incident. But silver linings, I still have all my videos, and I got a brand new computer, uh, because the computer that was hacked is, let's say it's being decommissioned. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances with that one. So, uh, I don't know, given all the terrible stuff that's happened in 2020, this is just kind of par for the course. Anyway, that's it. Now I get back to doing what I do, making videos, streaming on Twitch, and yeah, everyone out there, be safe. Careful what you click on. Make sure all your accounts are secure. And I'll see you in the next video.